Hello and welcome to another video from me, Paraplays, and in this video we're going to be looking at Fortnite. Now, Fortnite is a game that's becoming very, very popular. You may not have heard of it, but if you look around on YouTube and you have a look at the actual stats for games, PC keys, CD keys, Kingwin and all that, this has shot right up to number two. So do you know what? I had a word with a few people and I managed to get into the early access. Now you can buy this straight away and get into the early access. And what I thought I would do for this video is actually go through and play the first tutorial. This tutorial is single player and after that you get into four player co-op. And the kind of game I think initially is like a horde survival mode but you have to actually find resources, build up defences, there is many, many, many unlocks and characters and weapons and etc, etc. So the reason it's called Fortnite is you build a fort and you have to survive at night. Welcome to Fortnite. for feet. Just a tip for moving forward. Security system failure. Ignore that. So, introductions. I'm Ray, and we're the commander's support crew. Or at least we would be, if we had a commander. <laughs> and if this drill is any indication, we won't last a second in the storm on our own. Say that again? Not a drill? Uh, well, that certainly explains the monsters. Fun fact, our mission was to prevent the storm from happening, so on to plan B. Plan B. You guys got anything? Anything? Uh, incoming Come on. distress call. Incoming distress oh, call. Oh, I think you just found our plan B. Ramirez here. I'm requesting backup. Read you loud and clear. We have survivors in danger. The storm's closing in. Please hold. Do not put me on hold. Let's cut to the chase. Have you ever considered fighting the forces of evil? Because we really need a commander, and I think you've got what it takes. Don't listen to him, you're going to be amazing. Connecting you to our commander now. Guys, take your positions. Lock, flip the switch. Whenever you're ready, commander. Okay, Commander. Ramirez is counting on you to get those survivors to safety. Hello, Ray? If you can hear me, now would be a great time to hurry up. Copy that. Weapons and building systems coming online... now. Yeah, back in action. We got a pack of hubs set ahead. What's our firepower situation? See for yourself. Lead the way, Commander. Here we are, we're in game, and let's just make sure that we have got max settings here because it did automatically set everything's on epic. Oh, different. We'll get that on full screen. And everything else, I think we should leave. Anyway, apply. Yes, we'd like to keep those settings, please. So here we are, and as you can see, it's got a really nice sort of Pixar look to it, quite cartoony. Just let a few rounds off. Mouse seems a little bit sensitive, but let's just get rid of these husks. 
Quite nice sound effects. Quite nice and beefy. Very responsive. It's got a little bit of a um, Disney struck Borderlands feel to it. I do like the artwork on this. So let's just, I presume it's going to be space bar to jump. It's probably going to be the same controls that we're used to in these games. See if we can blow barrels up. You can always have red barrels in these games. Now, things like this, I've actually seen. If I press one down here. Whenever something is blocking your path, try destroying it. Use your pickaxe to take care of the mine. So we're gonna we're gonna blast these now. And as you can see up at the top left, it's gonna actually give me resources. So I've got 14 metal, no bricks, no wood. And now we should have some stone. And the premise of this game is. During the day, we grab resources and we actually get to build structures around usually an object. And What's your situation come night time, we then have to set up our defences and protect it no from the horde. And from well, looking at some of the developer notes, it was saying even after 80 hours of gameplay, you will still be finding new quests. So, I don't know, is this sort of game you just think, is it going to be like four or five levels and that's it? But apparently there is a huge amount of unlocks for this game absolutely huge and there is a loot system and as we get a little bit further in you'll see there's the golden llamas uh, which is kind of like you hit a pinata and it could be gold rare you know the sort of thing where it starts to unlock rare items etc etc so we're just going to run through here through this tutorial level and we're going to move on now as i mentioned this game has gone up to number two in the charts of pc games at the minute so, and it's epic, it's not exactly some little indie developer. And what I do know about this, I'm going to just build this up. Build mode, how do I do that? Q key. Okay. And F3 to select stairs. F3, there we go. And now I can build stairs out of my resources, which is 10 wood, and now we can climb up there. Cool. Cool. Was that a golden chest I just saw next to me? It's just You're gonna need a bigger gun. Nice uh, out here. Very, as I say, it's got a very Pixar that. sort of feel to it. We need some crafting materials. Try smashing up some cars and trees. Cars and trees. Press one to harvest your pickaxe. Yeah, as I mentioned, um, the game will actually be going free to play, but that's a couple of years down the road, and this is actually early access, even though there is a huge amount of content in this game, and you'll see at the end of this tutorial. And twine for crafting. End of this tutorial, I shall show you some of the things. With this being the tutorial, it is single player. So we're just going to run around now. Destroy trees and vehicles to harvest the resources you need for a spare gun. And I can tell you now, the gun that we actually get is an M4. Now, it's not paid to win, it's not paid to play. As I mentioned, if you want to wait for this game for a year, possibly two years, it will be free to play. But if it's number two in the charts, you know a lot of people are interested Good in this choice. game. Cars are a trusty source of metal, nuts and bolts, and mechanical parts. Now, initially when I saw the videos on this, I probably had the same opinion as you. What is this game? I don't quite understand it. I don't quite get it as yet. And I think that will come clear as we get into the second and third videos that I'm going to do on this game, Fortnite. So, again, this is just teaching us the very, very basics. As you can see, my resources up at the top left are increasing. And I was looking at the dev notes. They are changing the user interface as well to make it much more streamlined. So it looks like I need to find uh, some more nuts and bolts from the vehicles and two rusty mechanical parts from vehicles. So it's the vehicles I need to find. Let me just see if there's any loot in here. What was that? What the hell was that? It's like one of them things that Harry Potter that screams. Let's have a look. Ah, vehicles. Here we go. Some of the beasts and um, the actual horde that come up, come at night are probably going to be really simple in this first tutorial mission, but some of them are huge. It's almost like, um, what was that zombie horde game? All right. That's everything we need to craft orcs. Destroy orcs Open or something. Open the inventory. Right. Click on the gun icon. Get our first rifle now. Craft. So what do I press? I key. There it is, and now what do I press? Where is it? Where is it? Assault weapon. Craft. Now we should have an M4 now in our inventory. Ramirez, come in. We got company. I've marked the location of the fort on your map. Let's on go protect those map. survivors. There, where's the map? Well, I can see there's enemies over there. 
Right, let's head that way towards the storm by the looks of it. And I presume that's the help of the horde. Let's get over here and see what we can see. This is going to be our first part of Fortnite. Let me know if you're interested in seeing some more of this because I really do love this art style. What the hell is that? A bunch of leeks, cabbages or something. Whoa, that's cool. That is awesome. And as usual, YouTube compression is not going to do this justice. character out of the living dead. So I presume these are the husks that we have to defend our base from. Beautiful art style. Right, so let's start to kill some of these this horde. Oh, M4, like a boss. Wow, the graphics are beautiful. You see the way that, that when they spawned in then they sort of glowed purple a little bit. Let's get back up. I presume this is the base that we've got to defend here. Remaining time, 18 seconds. Right. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Come on, you little bastards. Eight seconds. And you can see they're starting to smash this wall here. Again, with this being a tutorial, this is going to be very, very, very easy. Um, looks like the timer's up. Oh, we lost you out there. You're not that lucky. What's your status? We can't find a way out of here soon. We're all as good as dead. Don't worry, hermano. We're working on it. No need to worry. We've got your There's back. some traps. Let's play some okay, traps. Okay, how do I do that then? To keep husks from getting inside, place traps in front of the door. Press Q to enter build mode. And then... F5. Ah, okay. And... Where's it there? Ah, cool. It's got little spikes on it. Alright, oh, so it looks like we've got to build them all the way up to the end there. Is that coming out of my resources? It probably will do in the game. With this being the tutorial, how do I get rid of that Q key again, is it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I do love this art style. Brilliant. What's this? So it looks like we've got a pickaxe. Is that a shotgun? No, that's the pistol. Looks like I've got a ninja sword for melee. And we've got the M4. And it looks like the little green bar next to it as well, so that there is weapon um, weapon damage. So you're probably going to have to use resources eventually to repair your weapons. There's a lot of information on screen down there, actually. I presume that's 794 bullets I've got. 31 in the weapon. What did I get there? Q is build, and it looks like F1 is walls, F2 is floors. Uh, Three steps, four. I don't know what that is. Seriously weird readings here. What's on the other side of that wall? G. No clue. We couldn't find Edit. a way in. I can Make fix a that. door in the wall or turn to mode. smash it down. Select the square in the middle and the square below it to create G a door. Key. Confirm G. Nice oh, awesome. Work. So we can open the door now. It'd be quite cool in uh, co op. And what's actually happening here? Is that. Ah, it looks like it's rebuilding itself with metal panels now. You can see the little bar going up. Is that because I actually edited it? So depending on how, how uh, intense the enemies are, I presume. Whoa. Can I click that? The, the co-op aspect could be really quite good because there are actually different classes. There is uh, like sort of shotgun class, a builder, actually, wait, uh, commando, sort of and a various others that we'll look Commander, at in some future videos. If we have a satellite, we can guide Ramirez and the survivors back to Bandits. our home base. Then let's launch this thing. Let's launch it. How do I launch it? Well, that looks like a collectible, doesn't it? Ah, okay, I've got to go downstairs. Let's get down there. Definitely look like collectibles, but it doesn't look like there's anything, you know, nothing I can... Unless that comes later. Oh, rocket. That's a nice ass. Uh, nice rocket. Uh, search. What are these blue things? More cabbages. Whatever these are. There we go. Nuts and bolts. And I presume we've got to collect these blue things. So let's just collect these. Collect blue glow. What is blue glow? I've got one of them anyway. Collect blue glow. I presume the blue glow is what I'm going to have to put in that rocket. It's probably fuel. I'm going to guess. Let's just jump over here. I can't quite get to it. I can't get to it. How do I melee? Can I melee? 
No, Parry, you walk round the back. Simpleton. I think that's all. Oh, there's another one. There's another one there. Like that as well. Uh, help launch the rocket. Put that in there. Does that do anything? V. For victory. Now get outside before you're engulfed in flaming rocket exhaust. After launch it, I press it. Right. Let's go back outside the fort. We need to keep that rocket safe until launch. Oh, so I, see, I presume that's why we built the base up then to protect the rocket. Don't take any chances, Lenny. I'm on my way. Probably going to be super easy for the tutorial. What the hell is that thing? What is that thing? Get out of there! I think I can hold it. What is that thing? So I presume there may be another enemy type here. Holy shit! What <laughs> are the rings? Is that his dung? No, it's his left arm. Holy shit, so we gotta hold off for uh, 1 minute 55 here. We've shit! You need to protect Ooh, the bloody hell, that was close. You see that? It actually got impaled on the spikes. I see now. Do you know what? This is actually quite fun. I can imagine this being brilliant in 4 player co op. As I said, because some of you have to be resource collectors. Uh, there are different classes that are, you know, combat orientated with their weapons, RPGs, saws, you name it, grenades. Uh, the other class, uh, builders, they can build up defences. Yeah, I can't do that. I wonder if it's a specific class. And of course, if you run out of bullets, then you have to build more resources to build up rounds, etc. Quite impressed with the graphics, and it is silky smooth, absolutely rock solid, even when I'm recording here. Here. Let's get some Overwatch. <laughs> got it. Airstrike is coming online. No, no, it's better seconds. down there. I've got, That's what I've I like got better hear. sight. 46 seconds. Call in that airstrike when you're ready. Five and launch. Okay. Have some of that. Twenty eight seconds. Looks a little bit easy, I know, but that's because this is this really is the, the very, very easy tutorial. But again, I'm going to say it again. I love this art style. It is like a bloody Pixar movie. Uh, when it comes to the actual classes as well, I probably won't go for the builder class. I will go for the um, commando or the combat oriented role. And uh, look at me mopping up years of experience in first person shooters. Right, Big Dong is about to be launched right up the rectum of these little bastards. And what is that actually doing? Is that going <laughs> to... Is that actually going to come down now? Stand by to move, Ramirez. As soon as that satellite Software data is ready, data. we're bringing you in. God, I thought it had crashed then. Is it crashed? No. Great job out there. Thanks to that launch, we can now connect to our very own satellite. Let's take a look. I'm sure it's not that bad. Oh, oh wow. That is Purple is bad, oh, I presume. That is terrible. I, I stand corrected. Wow. Oh, great. They're in space too. In space. <laughs> Does that, that mean we later. get to go to space eventually? Who knows? What do you call this place? Getting started. Enter your home base name. Um, Council Gritter. Go up your shitter. Uh, let's go for a bomb. Apply. Okay. Nothing's happening. What's happening? Oh, let me, let's just change it. Let, let's go for black. In fact, I don't know. I might go for yellow. Let's apply. Nothing's happening. Default colors. Let's go for a bomb. Yeah, that'll do. I'll have that. All right, okay. There, there we go. There we go. Right then, what we got here? Mission rewards. Level 4 loot. Let's open it. 
wooden floor spikes damages and slows all enemies who are standing on the trap and we also got a handmade ruler sword uses a fast sustained damage heavy attack that leaps forward dealing high damage right what's this uh, so it looks like if we do the next stage we get 100 v bucks whatever that is and copper knight and the next mission will be the stonewood storm which again i think is all part of the tutorials because there's quite a few tutorials excuse me so i'm told but you can see there's sniper rifles and there's all sorts in here i don't know what the majority of this menu is all about um i've seen the loot llamas the loot llamas is where you get a pinata and that's the loot system you hit it you can get gold rare items uh standard item skins new characters etc etc and there are about 25 characters in this all with their own different play styles but if you want to see some more of this game and you want me to carry on with this tutorial and you're interested please let me know because it's quite enjoyable and it's something different for me but it anyway i shall sign off in the meantime i've been paraplays and this is fortnite bye bye